Hey, Joe here. Today I'm reviewing the Instar Gym 3.0. This is going to be a full review of every component that you get with this gym. So here we go. Uh, you get this bag and all this, and everything fits in this bag, and I'm going to show you that later, but let's get to the entire kit. Um, the heart of every system is the bands themselves, and you get four of them. They come in different tensions, and they have a nice carabine around the end. It's pretty standard. They have a really nice shrink tubing over the end, holds it in nice and tight, and I like the feel of these. They're really, really nice feel. Uh, they're sturdy, and I really like the safety shield. They have these safety shields on every band, and it keeps it, if the band happens to explode or snap, it holds it in so that you don't get slapped with the band. I'd like to see that on every band. That's really nice. I like the bands. So, uh, this kit comes with a bar. A lot of kits don't come with that. This one does, and it's a really nice solid bar. It's got this thread protector on the end that it comes with. Hang on to that. You're going to want to keep that if you travel, like if you throw it in the bag. Um, you don't want the end hitting up against metal or something and screwing up your threads. They're very fine threads, and this bar threads together really nicely. You'll feel it when you when you go to put it together. Um, it's, it's well machined, and when you get it to where it's uh, quite a few turns, so you get a lot of bar inside there, so you get a lot of strength, and it's a nice tight seal, as you can see, and on the ends, they have heavy-duty eye bolts that swivel, so the, you know, the bar swivels when you lift and doesn't bind up. Very nice. It's a good bar, so keep that little donut there and put it on the end just to protect that if you have it taken apart. Don't ruin your threads. Okay, so handles. Every kit pretty much comes with handles. This is a pretty standard handle. Um, it's pretty thick. It's sturdy. The band is nice. Uh, it's a nice padded handle, and you got um, D-rings on the end. So that's pretty much that. Now, ankle cuffs. These are pretty heavy ankle cuffs. They've got a nice solid feel. they got th thick, thick, soft rubber padding and um, heavy Velcro fastener and a nice D-ring. It's a solid ankle band. I like it. And then comes your door anchors. This is uh, the heart of a lot of systems because this is how you wedge your weight against the inside of a door frame, which I will show you in detail. And that's how you get your tension against your bands. And then the foot straps. These are pretty self-explanatory. You stick your foot in there, and now you're anchoring the weight with your foot straps. So... All right, and my favorite part of this system is definitely this bench device that they give you. It's hard to really, it's a, they don't call it anything specific, but it's just a big band. Anyways, um, you can do different things with it. It's really solid feel. Uh, it's got multi-uses. You got uh, three bands per side, and they got tapered ends that go into um, the slots and change the resistance. You don't get these ones here. This is just another color, but I'm just showing you that you can change the resistance so you can adjust the tension. The different colors are different tensions, just to demonstrate. And you can change the tension for um, when you progress or you just want a different uh, set and rep. It comes with a book. And uh, the book has a lot of different uh, ideas on exercises inside it. Um, so that's the hardware and that's the software. So let's start off with the first piece, the anchor. The door anchor is a pretty simple device. You've probably seen it before, but if not, we'll go through it real quick here. You just hook it onto a strap, take the little donut and put it behind the door on the other side of the room, on the other room. I got two here. Pull the door shut. Now your weight is anchored against the door. Make sure the door is low enough so that the donut doesn't pop out. Okay, so let's hook up one of these uh, nice handles to a band and do some exercises. So you just put it on the other end of the band. Pretty simple. Then set yourself up to do something like, say, for instance, uh, dumbbell presses or tricep extensions with single handles. You can also hook up a foot strap to it. Here's the ankle strap in action, and you Basically, put the thing around your leg. Just wrap it around your ankle, put the strap through the rectangular ring, and tighten down the Velcro. It feels very sturdy. Put the ring where you want it. The D ring is in the back because right now we're going to do leg extensions. So, there you go. Kick it out. And if you need more weight, put another band on there. And Again, you can get different bands at different strengths for these long bands, too. So you can even go further into dialing in exact tensions. Or you can hook the anchors on the top of the door and do push-down type exercises, like, for instance, 
tricep push downs and many other exercises. Okay, so the foot straps, pretty simple. Like I said, you just basically get yourself some sturdy shoes and uh, s slide the foot strap over your shoe. Hook it up to a band and then hook it up to, well, in this case, I'll hook it up to a bar. And you can hook it to handles too and hook and do something like, say, for instance, um, curls or um, you could also get a little more heavy duty and do squats. And I've got a couple bands on there for that. It's still a little light, but always keep in mind that you, if you want, you can always strap on another band to make things heavier. Okay, so my favorite part of this thing, it's just really neat, is this bench device. And um, it's for bench, but it's got multi-uses. It's really solid. Uh, it's got three bands per side, and they're removable. And they slide into the slots and change the tension. Uh, you can have different bands, different color. Again, these don't come with it, but you can then vary the resistance. So you can buy these separate, but I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes how you put it in here. You just slide it through. These are extra safety straps and uh, stretch it out a little bit on the end and slide it in the slot and then get the tapered end in there and it's in there real solid. And these bands also help if something were to snap, but I don't really foresee that with these. These are really strong. But anyhow, so that's how you adjust that. And uh, we'll do a couple exercises with it. It's very simple. Just sling it around your back there, get it in position, and bench press. Uh, I really like the feel of this. You can get different angles on it. And of course, again, you can vary the tension for different sets and reps. All right. You can also, if you want, improvise. You can use it for like bent rows. You can also put the bar through it and bench also if you like. So there's a lot you can do. I like the whole kit. It's just overall really nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy using it. The thing I like about it is it's portable. You can take it anywhere if you're on a trip or you're at a hotel or staying with somebody or whatever. You, you don't have to leave your workout behind or go try and find a gym. Every single thing fits inside the bag. And as you can see here, I've put all the pieces in this little bag to give you. You can put it in whatever bag you want, but it's a nice bag and, um, you know, goes in there really nicely. Um, but is it harder to put it back inside the bag than it was for me to take all this out and lay it all, all nice for you like that? Well, yes, it is harder to put it inside the bag, but you can get it in there. So anyways, I give this thing a big thumbs up. I paid for it with my own cash, and I just wanted to do a review on it. So, hey, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.